Hi, my name's Tom. I'm the sales manager for Osprey Europe. Taking a bit of time out today during a pack testing trip in the canyons of Utah. So it's a pretty nice place as you can see. The original Atmos series was launched in 2005 and in its first year won numerous awards all over the world. And since then it's become one of Osprey's best selling packs. The redesigned airspeed back panel now incorporates a peripheral light wire alloy frame as well as side cuts to maximise lateral ventilation. Reduce the space in the air cavity from around three inches to around one and a half. This enables you to pack your pack a lot more efficiently whilst maintaining ventilation and comfort against the back. Both the hip belt and the shoulder harness are die cut hexagon shaped EVA foam which maximise ventilation and also comfort. A quick statistic is actually the hip belt is 50% air, 50% foam. There's a zipped mesh pocket on either side of the hip belt and also on the side stretch woven nylon to carry a one litre water bottle. The lower side compression has been designed in such a way that the tape can either run over the top of the stretch woven nylon or be re-threaded underneath. The Atmos also incorporates the new Storm the Go system. So let's go through some of the features of the pack. We've got two zip pockets on either side of the front of the pack. A key feature to the Atmos series is the oversized stretch woven nylon pocket on the front with four way stretch in the middle which has been welded. On the bottom of the pack there's twin sleeping pad straps, also twin ice axe loops and with a floating lid you can extend the capacity. There's an internal mesh pocket and externally there's an oversized pocket on the top. Within the pack you've still got the capability of storing a hydration bladder in the conventional sleeve or the air cavity. So testing packs in this demanding environment is pretty harsh, but I quite enjoy it.